Writings of treatment for bacterial infections date back to 17th century where John Parkington recommended using mold for treatment in his book on pharmacology and Sir John Scott Burden Sanderson observed that culture fluid covered with mold did not produce bacteria. There were also other studies done on effective treatment of bacterial infections by Louis Pasteur and Ernest Duchesne, but it was not until 1928 where Sir Alexander Fleming would ex accidentally discovered penicillin. Alexander Fleming, a Scottish biologist, was looking ways to destroy bacteria which had inevitably killed millions of soldiers during World War I. Fleming accidentally left a dish of Staphylococcus bacteria uncovered for a few days. He returned to find the dish dotted with bacterial growth apart from one area where a patch of mold was growing. The discovery of penicillin from the fungus Penicillium notatum perfected the treatment of common bacterial infections back in the day, such as syphilis, gangrene, and tuberculosis. Despite penicillin being discovered in 1928, no effective treatments were found for bacterial infections until 1940. After a few researchers carried out experiments in Oxford University, a policeman of age 43 with a life-threatening infection had been remarkably cured within days after the injection of penicillin. After this and during World War II, the penicillin yield increased tremendously and many soldiers lived through the war as a result of this. In 1942, Salman Waxman and his team of researchers came up with the word antibiotics to describe any substance produced by a microorganism that is antagonistic to the growth of other microorganisms in high dilution. The term antibiotics literally means against life, in this case against microbes. Since World War II, there were many medical advancements and to this day antibiotics are the most effective drug for the effective treatment of bacterial infections.